fly-on-the-wall documentaries are far from an alien concept to us. We've seen the Osbournes do it, and Katie Price and Peter Andre have hardly moved a muscle this year without a TV crew following their every move. So Nicola McLean's new reality show Studs and Stilettos, in which she lets the cameras into her family home with husband footballer Tom Williams and son Rocky, won't be anything new to us, will it? It, it is completely different. I mean, it's it's showing our lives together, but the fact that Tom's a footballer, you know, he wasn't a he isn't a celebrity, you know, husband. He's a footballer, and and it shows that the other side of football as well, the, not the Premiership, you know, and and it shows, you know, a wag, but in a different way. And I think that it has never been done before. Yeah, reality shows have been done, but not like this. No. And yeah, I can see the comparison. As I keep on saying. We can obviously see the obvious comparisons between Kate and Pete, but I think after watching the show, you know, we're nothing like them. So it's, but it's cool. I don't mind. She's earned 30 million or something. I don't mind being compared to her. Okay, so if there's a secret voyeur in you who indulges in Big Brother and I'm a Celebrity every year, then the likelihood is you'll find something very watchable in this show. Oh, and speaking of I'm a Celeb, could Nicola be heading back in the jungle? I love reality. That's what. That's the only thing I could do is reality TV because that's what I'm good at being being me. But I would hope that our show's a success and I wouldn't need to go and do any more. But maybe I'll have a second stint in the jungle. Yeah, if it's maybe. good enough for Kate, it's good enough for me. <laughs> watch this space. And if you can't wait till next November, watch Studs and Stilettos on ITV2 Sunday night at 11.30pm. There's no kangaroo testicles in it, but there are a few penguins. <laughs>